So I'm Officer Yehoshua, Israel United in Christ. So my brother made an excellent point. He said in order for you to, um, pretty much in order for you to conquer the woman, you got to understand the woman. You got to understand that sin came into this earth through the woman. So when you see her through the correct perspective, it's going to give you the thought process to overcome her and all her demons. Right. All right? But it's no kingdom of heaven for the so-called black man, the Israelite man, according to the scriptures, without putting that woman in subjection That's in right. her proper place. That's right. Jeez. That has to happen first. Using Ecclesiastes. Uh, go back there. Keep reading down on that. Verse 27. Uh -huh. Behold, this have I found. Say of the preacher, uh -huh. continue one by one to find out the account. So the preacher, which is Solomon, the leader, the, the man with spiritual understanding, is looking for something. Let's find out what he's looking for. Read. Verse 28. Uh -huh. Which yet my soul seeketh. His soul is seeking this thing. I'm looking for this thing. Where can I find this thing? Jeez. What is this thing? Read. But I find not. But he can't find it. Read. One man among a thousand. Of how many? Among a thousand. In order for him to find a good man, you know how many men he got to go through? Teach. A thousand. That's, that's right. To find one good man, I got to go through a thousand. Keep reading. Have I found? Uh-huh. But a woman. But what? But a woman. Huh? Among all those, have I not found? He ain't find no women. Hey, hey, he ain't find no righteous women, man. You know, These oh. sisters got to be taught. They got to be converted. My man went through a thousand men to find one righteous brother. That's right. And ain't find no righteous women. You know why? Because the woman started all this foolishness that we live in today. That's right. right. They that lead thee cause thee that to earth. Who's been leading our people? Women. That's right. Who got to step down? Who's, who's, and realize that they're not equal to us? Women, go to uh, go to Sirach 25. Last, like, three verses. Sirach chapter 25. Yeah, start there. Sirach chapter 25, verse 23. Uh -huh. oh. A wicked woman abateth the courage. This is what's happened to our community. The courage in our community is gone because it's been led by wicked women. Right. Read. Make it a heavy countenance uh -huh. and a wounded heart. That's what that's the condition of our men right now. A heavy countenance walking around, woe is me. That's right. Damn, I got I, uh, I got to work three jobs to keep up with this woman that's Please oppressing come. me. Keep reading. A woman that will not comfort her husband uh -huh. in distress maketh weak hands and feeble knees. These are the type of women that Solomon saw when he was searching for the righteous ones. He didn't find no righteous woman. Only one righteous man. Read. Of the woman uh -huh. came the beginning of sin. Of who? Of the woman came the beginning of sin. Uh -huh. And through her we all die. Through her we all die. That's the condition of our people here in America. So you got to understand that. You got to understand that God created you first for a reason. He created you in his image for a reason. And he created her for a purpose after that. And the whole world is out of order when we put that woman on a pedestal as if she's our equal. There was never a such thing as 50-50 relationship. A woman was created to be a 100% woman. Not half woman, half man. And I'm created to be a whole man, a whole ruler of my household, a whole ruler amongst my people. I'm created for war. Yes. I'm created to conquer. Right. Yeah. I'm created to teach. Right. And she ain't created to do any of that except under my rulership in my household. Right. Right. Give, me yeah. 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 Give me Titus chapter 2. Give me Titus chapter 2. Give me Titus chapter 2. And that stuff that you got to add ain't your mouth. Come talk to us. The only thing that you got to add is teaching these daughters how to love their husbands and how to love their children. Start at verse 3. Titus chapter 2 verse 3. So once that woman get in order under her husband right. this is what's supposed to happen read the aged woman likewise uh -huh. that they be in behavior as becometh holiness that's how that behavior is supposed to be right. as becometh holiness which is according to god's law statutes and commandments right. read not false accusers not running their mouth saying all types of stuff that they don't need to be saying read right. not giving too much wine not running around here popping pills drinking drunk Read. Teachers of good things uh -huh. that they may teach the young women. Right, and then, 
Once you get that age woman, your wife in order, that's how your daughters are going to be in order. Give me Ezekiel uh, 4 after this. After this, read. To be sober. Uh -huh. To love their husband. To do what? To love their husband. The scripture says that a woman must be taught how to love their husband. Right. These women ain't learning how to be how to love their husbands. They learning how to find a simp Negro that's going to serve and worship them. Right. Right. Not a man that they're going to serve and love. Read. To love their children. Uh huh. To be discreet because we don't we don't understand it. The way that these women have been raising these children is not a love for their children. If all you do is teach your children lies, what love do you have for your child? Right. You teaching your child birthdays? You hate your kids. Right. Right. You teaching your children Christmas? It's because you hate your kids. Right. right. If you putting a wig and weaving your hair and teaching your daughters to do the same foolishness, right. it's because you hate your kids. Right. 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 And deep down, you hate your own self. Right. Bring it up. Keep reading. To be discreet. To be what? Discreet. These women ain't discreet. They in every man's face. They always run in their mouth. They always got something to say. There's no discretion amongst the so-called black women. Teach. Right. Right. There's no discretion even showing her own hind pots. Right. right. Discretion means I ain't showing you everything I got going on. That's right. I'm going to be discreet about it. Right. Yeah, I got it going on, but it ain't for you to look at. I'm going to hide it and show it to my husband later on. Yeah. That's discretion. Right. You ain't seeing that in the black community. Right. Right. Chase. Huh? Chase. The black woman ain't chased. So you got to instill these things into the black woman because these are the, these are the byproducts of the woman who's out of order. The woman who's running her mouth. The woman that needs to be conquered has to be taught these things right here. Right. To be what? Chase. The average black woman then gave up the booty by the 13, 14 years old, man. Bring it up. She done been touched in some form or fashion by the time she get through middle school. Right. Whether she done, she done jacked some nigga off, sucked some nigga off, or then gave up the goods. And they, they, they begin pregnant in high school. That chastity, that preservation of the precious things in a woman has not been taught in our community. Right, right. Girl, you better use what your mama gave you to get what you want. You know that thing that you're sitting on down there, that's the power. Nah, it's only power if the black man is weak enough to give that thing power. Right. It's, when you understand basic economics, you understand the difference between supply and demand. So if you got a lot of supply of something, it's not worth a whole lot. Teach. It's not worth a whole lot. If I got uh, a thousand pair of Jordans and everybody already got their own pair, how much is the thousand pair worth? Not as much. That's right. If ain't nobody got a pair of Jordans and I got the only thousand that's created, there's a great demand for it that makes it more what? More valuable. Right. If you telling me that women outnumber men on this earth, how the hell does pussy have power? Teach! There is no power in it. There's boxing on every corner, man. Every neighborhood. And wherever you look, there's a woman with a vagina. Right. So how is it that we give a vagina power? Right. Because we sips, because we weak, because we got to elevate our understanding as men to take back our communities. Right. Yes, right. Keepers at home. That black woman need to be at home. Keeps at home, read. Good, obedient to oh, what? Obedient. You see that? That's right there. That that that. Uh, what was the words that you used about the the woman? Uh, what was it you said? Whatever those characteristics of that uh, snapping head, spinning all all of that, running the mouth and all of that. That's not that's not what what we learn here, bro. That's not what we learn here. This Bible right here is going to convert a woman from being all that stuff that you're talking about to being all this stuff that you're reading about. Right. Read. Obedient uh -huh. to their own husband. What woman have you run into that's like trying to be obedient to her husband? They don't exist out there. Keep reading. That the word of God be not blasphemed. That the word of God be not blasphemed because this is what the word of God says. Give me... Uh, Give me Psalms 11 and 7. Uh, what was it Proverbs 11? The, the law of the Lord. 19 and 7. Yeah, yeah. Psalms 19 and 7. The law of the Lord is perfect. This is what you use to convert a woman from being what she was to what you want her to be. All right? Read that. 
Psalms chapter 19 verse 7. Uh -huh. The law of the Lord is perfect. The Bible says that the law of the Lord is perfect. And what does it do? Converting the soul. Converting the soul. So when you step into your proper place in the household, you use the laws of the Lord to convert your own mind and the mind of your woman. That's your duty. That's your responsibility as the man of the house. The head of the house. All right? Does that answer your question? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.